What up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pin. First off, I just want to say thanks. I'm really feeling the love from that last video. You're the best. Today, though, I'm going to do a project that's been done a zillion times already by a zillion different people. Yeah, I counted. That's right, today I'm attempting the string pendant lamp. We've all seen the original one. It's like $600. The problem that I have with most of the DIY versions that I've seen is that most people use this thicker crochet yarn and I just don't think it looks as polished as the original lamp. So I'm gonna use this thinner crochet yarn. The other thing that I'm gonna be doing a little differently is for my mold, I'm using a beach ball. Yep, that's right, a beach ball. The beauty of this beach ball situation is that it's the size that I want. I don't want one that's too big. That's what she said. Plus, after I deflate it and take the ball out of the center, if this all goes according to plan, I can still use this as a motherfucking beach ball. That's right. I'm all eco and shit up in here. I'm sure this glue I'm about to use is really eco too. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be not 100% horrible for you. I know I've eaten my fair share of it throughout my life. Yep, had to go to Glue Eaters Anonymous to kick the habit. Paper though, I'm never giving that shit up. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna take this glue and mix it with a little bit of water. I've seen other DIYs call for fabric stiffener. Giggity. I don't even know what that is. I'm just gonna stick with my straight up Elmer's glue. I've also seen some instructions saying that you wrap whatever your mold is entirely in the string first and then paint the glue on. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna dip my string in the glue and then wrap it around the ball because I feel like I have a lot more control over the glue that way. This is a little bit more messy of a process. You're gonna have to wash your hands a bunch of times, but I already do that anyway because it also takes a little bit longer, but that's what's gonna make this DIY string pendant lamp the best DIY string pendant lamp in the world of all time. You were right, by the way, Kanye. Beyonce wins everything for the rest of history. It's just all yours, Beyonce. Take it. You go, girl. It actually took a few hours to get the coverage I wanted, and then I let it dry overnight. And you know what? This thing is pretty cool looking. I am super happy with it. It's all hard and giggity. Fucking exactly what I wanted to achieve. Okay, I admit I didn't really think this next process through as much as I probably should have because I realized as I went to deflate the ball that you need to squeeze the little nozzle the whole time you're releasing air and that's a little difficult to do in this situation. So I'm just trying to figure it out. I cut a hole and then that made it somewhat easier but the hole wasn't big enough so I decided to actually make the hole look better by using a template to trace around and then I was able to slowly deflate the ball and unstick it from the sides. Again, I'm still really impressed with how this came out. I did have the foresight to get this pendant lamp kit, so that's something. I just don't know how I'm gonna make the light stay in there at this point. To the hardware store we go. I walked around for at least an hour trying to find a solution, and the best thing I came up with was this garbage disposal plugger thingy. The guy that worked there asked me if I needed help three different times. I'm like, no dude, trust me, you can't help me. Save yourself. The hole I cut before was a little too small, so I just cut it a little bigger and then placed the garbage disposal cover thingy inside the hole and glued it around the edge. Bam! You can obviously paint it first if you want it to match better, but I didn't do that. It's all glued in there now. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, so here's the deal. I plan on putting this thing in my bathroom because I think it'll look really cool in here. There may be some issues with dampness, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about that now. All I gotta do is pop this little puppy right on there and voila! Looks pretty good in my humble opinion. So humble. But obviously not everyone has a light such as this in their home. So you're probably gonna have to use the pendant lamp situation. All you gotta do is push this part through the hole and boom shakalak. Now all you have to do is hang it from the ceiling somehow. And I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I don't have to do that step. So figure it out on your own. How many beckies does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just that one with the good hair. And speaking of good hair, I got a new video over on my personal channel all about my hair. Plus, I'm doing a giveaway, so that's exciting. Free stuff. Go check it out, and I'll see you later.